hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can implement react navigation version 4 to our react native project so as you know that react navigation version 4 has been launched and there is some changes over here so i thought to make this video so that there is no confusion while setting up the react navigation to our react native project so before proceeding i just wanted to tell you that if you like this kind of tutorial and this kind of tutorials helps you to understand and work on your project in a better way then you can subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this i have many more tutorials on react native and flutter as well if you are interested on that then you can check out that tutorial on my channel so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial okay so over here as you can see this is our react navigation website within the docs we will see the getting started guide so over here we have the detailed documentation to install react navigation to our react native project i am using npm over here so i will use this command to install react navigation to my project right so i have copied it and i will paste it over here and let me tell you this is a brand new project which i have just installed to demonstrate you this installation process so this is a fresh new react native installation and over here i'm installing this react navigation package so i have copied the code over here and then hit enter so it has been installed now we need to see what else we need to do so over here we can see that we need to install some other things like react native gesture handler react native animated and i'm not using expo over here i'm using the react native cli so i will not use this command i will use this command okay installing dependencies into bare react native project if you are using expo then you can use this command to install these libraries right i will use this command so i have copied it and paste it over here but as you can see over here that it is showing the yarn ad but i am not using yarn i am using npm over here so i will remove this yarn ad and i will replace it with npm install right so i have done that and after that i will hit the enter key on my keyboard so as you can see over here it will install react native animated react native gesture handler and react native screens so three packages so hit enter so our packages has been added now after that let's see what else we need to do so over here we can see for react native 0.60 and higher we need to use this command for ios and this for android so i am using the fresh new install so that is obviously more than 0.60 version and over here we can see 0.60.5 so i will use that comment over here for ios so we need to move our terminal to ios directory then we can use this pod install cd ios so i am going to ios directory and over here i will paste the command pod install okay so pod installation has been completed now let's see what else we need to do we need to add these two lines to our build.gradle file for android so within android directory then within app android app then build.gradle so this file okay not this not root build cradle the build cradle file which is within the app directory and within this dependency we need to add these two lines so i have saved it now we don't need to do any more thing for react native 6.0 or higher and if you are in lower versions then you can go ahead and do all these things it has been mentioned over here you can follow along with this guide right now we don't need to do anything for react native version 0.60 or higher so we are good to go currently so now we need to implement this react navigation into our app 
so for that i will go to this move between screens i will see some guide over here so i need to implement those things in my app so first of all we need to implement the stack navigator to go to another screen so i will copy this and paste it over here and we need to have the home screen and the detail screen as well so we need to have two screens so here is detail screen and if we click on this run code then we will have real time example over here so we need to create this root stack with create stack navigator detail screen and home screen so we have this screen over here so i'm just replacing it with the home screen so i'm just copying this code and over here i need to provide render okay i have closed this and within this home screen i need to have a button on which i will click on that button and i will navigate to our detail screen so i create the detail screen first and then i will create the button so i have copied the data screen code so this is our data screen so we need to have this button this text and view is already present so view text and button so i have imported this button api from react native and now i can add a button over there so i copy this code and over here i create a view and within this view i give this button and for the style of this view i copy styles from other views okay and now we need to create this root stack so i copy this root stack this is our root stack so home is set to home screen and details is set to data screen and our initial root will be home and after that we need to create this app container so our app container will hold this root stack right and we need to export this over here so i copy this code and replace it with this so i am exporting this app class and app class is holding this app container which is this right so now we can save this code and i need to close this metro bundler ui process because we have added a new package in our project so we need to run our project again so over here i will run react native run ios and this is for the simulator which i have mentioned over here so that is not mandatory okay i'm within ios directory i need to go to the root directory and then i can use this react native run ios command i have made a mistake currently i am in the root directory of our project so now i can use this react native run ios command so our app has been launched but over here we can see there is an error and the error is telling us that react native stack navigator has been moved to react navigation stack so what is it mean so if i go to this documentation guide we can see that we need to go to this hello react navigation section and over here we can see that before continuing first we need to install react navigation stack following stack navigator page so click on this and over here we can see that we need to add this react navigation stack to our project so i copied it and i have added it over here and as i am using npm over here so i will use npm install okay and hit enter okay so this package has been added successfully now we can use it so we need to import this create stack navigator from react navigation stack package 
which is previously we have imported from this react navigation but it is now moved to this react navigation stack so from react navigation i can remove this now this is our correct import so now save it and again close this metro bundler ui and run the command okay so now our app has been launched and over here we can see that go to details button so now if i click on this then we can see that we are now in the detail screen and if i click on this back then we can go back to our previous screen or else we can use this button but this button is not designed for that let me check it is for the details so if i change this to home now save it now after reloading it we can see that you now go to details and if i click on details then we are back to home and now we will check this for android so this is our android device and over here i will run the command react native run android so hit enter okay so our app has been launched on android device as well right so over here we can see that our app is looking as expected and we have the go to details button so if i click on it then we can see that we are in the data screen right and if i click on this button again then we are in the home page again so our app is running perfectly on both the platform on android and ios as well right these are the two platform on which our app is running perfectly so our react navigation version 4 is installed in this way so we have to remember to install this react navigation stack for this stack navigator right so this is the thing changed and i think this will might create some confusion for the users who will try to implement it i think i have cleared it over here in this tutorial so this is the tutorial guys and this is the getting started tutorial and i have many more tutorials on react navigation as well so if you haven't checked those yet you can check those tutorials definitely i think other things have not changed yet but i haven't tested those things yet so i have to test it and let me know if you find any kind of difficulties in other features for react navigation and if you have any kind of suggestion for my next tutorial then also let me know by commenting down below and if you found this tutorial helpful to you then like this tutorial share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification of the future videos so i will see you guys later in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye